Now, recently we've been talking about so many of the safety features that NEO has been launching or has launched to their car. We've got the new world model feature that NEO recently launched that, that is able to make their users to be more safe in a way that in a case where you are sleeping in your car or you have fatigue, you don't have to worry anymore about the you, yourself being involved onto an accident because NEO with this new world model feature it is able to detect when you are sleeping or when you are not able to control the car anymore and it takes over and it drives the car outside of the of the road and calls for an emergency which is something that is great it means that even if maybe you are driving a car and you get maybe sick in the car i'm just saying worst case scenario right you neo car is able to detect this and you 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 are guaranteed safety which is something that makes me to think that some people actually are underrating the feature or how massive of a feature the Neo World model feature is and this my dear friends is one thing that will make Neo to win at the end of the day now I'm not talking about the Neo World model feature as I've spoken a lot about it on previous videos but I want to talk about the the safety features that are onto the Envo L60 I mean as seen on the screen there is a video that has been trending on the streets of social media showing that Onvo is also a very safe car to drive. I mean, it's able to detect objects, it's able to, 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 to make you not to be in a lot of accidents. In fact, this video it highlights that Onvo AEB system, Autonomous Emergency Braking System, has helped users avoid danger 77,898 times meaning that if it was not for this uh, AEB uh, or autonomous emergency braking system that Onvo has their users were going to be probably involved into so many accidents some accident you'll notice that that, uh, that there were pedestrian passing on the road and the car was able to detect that and make adjustments I mean, one thing that you must know is that though Onvo does not use the LiDAR sensors like what we see from the NEO, where in the, on top of the car you've got the main controlling LiDAR sensor, this one uses multiple sensors which, knowing that they are as strong as this um, in scenarios or in real life situation, it's something that is so good, man. I mean, you, NEO uses LiDAR sensors to be able to pick objects and all that, and knowing that with Onvo, with their multiple sensors that are not, of course, equivalent, I don't think, with the, the LiDAR sensors that NEO is using for their main brand, Onvo is still able to do or get the job done, which is something that is so great. So when I saw this video, I thought of coming and tell you to say that, look, Onvo is not just beautiful. Onvo is not just coming with some good autonomous driving features or driver assistance features, but it is also coming with a lot of massive safety features also, like what we see on Tunio, which is something that is just so great. You will know that the chips for autonomous or the autonomous driving chips that are helping onvo are still coming from uh, obviously nvidia and neo said in the near future they will be uh, using their own in-house uh, or onvo will also be using its in-house chips which will take onvo to the next level this is something that is great so me seeing this video once again we just got to be reminded what kind of a car onvo is because so many of the times where we talk about or when you talk about safety we talk about mainly neo models even myself on the equation i talk about neo models but you forget or we tend to forget or maybe we did not know that onvo is also this safe and seeing this video gives a clarity because this is real life situations man and knowing that onvo has helped this much in these so many instances uh, it's something that is great and it uh, no wonder it's a uh, it's also a car that neo has got a uh, confidence to say that this brand will also be able to sell 25,000 come end of the year this year which is just so great something that is very very so amazing and interesting something that uh, i mean one thing that i'm seeing from this is that though there is a difference between a neo and onvo when it comes to softwares when it comes to obviously uh, the safety features neo is also making sure that 
Onvo has got some pretty decent safety features that comes as standards on the car which is something that is very very good think this again rest assures us that look Onvo is a car that is not only cheap and affordable for the mass market but it's a car that is coming with safety features which shows that Neo did not compromise the safety features um, on this car Neo, it's the Neo L60 is still very very safe knowing that there is the L90 there is the L80 also coming this year we can look forward man to say that Onvo will still do very very well and this demonstration that we just saw from this video it proves to us that look blue sky is coming long term will win those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time look man me i am bullish on Neo. i remain long and strong because i know one thing and that is blue sky is coming i know one thing and that is those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time so that is it is for that reason that i i remain confident on Neo. though the share price might be showing us something completely different from the fundamentals that we're seeing from Neo, i think it's only a matter of time, man. They are using Neo not being profitable as an excuse for the share price being this low. They are using Neo's net losses as an excuse for uh, this uh, share price, Neo's share price being this low. But they are forgetting one thing very important, and that is it might be like this right now, but from Q2, as per what the CEO said, things are expected to, to improve dr drastically for Neo and my dear friends, I think, I think uh, profitability will be coming in Q4. Whatever NEO has been doing has even led to big banks like, uh, of course, Goldman Sachs coming to say, hold on, we like what NEO is doing as they prepare for profitability. And therefore, because of that, we're going to upgrade NEO from sell to neutral, right? They want to see first how Q2 will look like. And I'm telling you, after the Q2 earnings, they are going to adjust, uh, obviously, their sentiment to a buy and increase the price target, which is why. Right now, it's a good opportunity to go in onto Neo and load the boat because I'm telling you, once the market realizes that things are improving, the share price will also follow suit. And uh, it is for that reason that I say now it's a good opportunity. But again, this is not PR advice. I'm not saying do this. What you do with your new holdings, new stock, in terms of buying, selling, it's up to you. All I'm saying is that, look, me, I think things are going to be to improve. And when they improve, the market will see that because there won't be any other thing they will point out on Neo. But anyways, I was just here to tell you about what we saw coming from the Envoy L60. Tell me what you think about this. Blue sky is coming, long term will win. See you on the next one, my dear friends. That is all from me and God bless you all.